What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Sin City Crypto. I am David. I'm joined with Robin. And today we are covering big news coming out of Ethereum. The Shanghai testnet is live. This is the long awaited uh, testnet that's coming after the merge. Let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. What it entails. This is sourced from multiple different websites. The Shanghai upgrade for which Shandong is the testnet is projected to happen at some point in 2023. Now, there are three main Ethereum improvement proposals that will come out of this Shandong testnet. Uh, the first of which is EIP 4895. This will allow for staked Ether to be withdrawn along with any earned rewards that have been locked in the beacon chain for uh, since people started staking. Next is EIP 4844, which introduces proto dank sharding, which we'll cover here in a couple minutes, and EIP 3540, which will allow for code and data to be separated in the Ethereum virtual machine. Now, before we talk about proto dank sharding, what are your thoughts on Shang Dong finally going live on the mainnet? Uh, perhaps it's my. Uh extremely uh, immature thought process here but uh New this going uh on. shack dong is uh, shandong <laughs> shack dong shandong shandong can they not have come up with a better, a better name um you know why are you throwing dongs out here like that bro dank sharding is also a very and dank, interesting dank sharding yes uh pretty dope sharding uh, you, you um you know you know when you uh hit the dank too hard you uh start sharding start uh <laughs> <laughs> hit the munchies <laughs> jokes aside jokes aside okay this uh is projected uh, some point in 2023 but the test net is available for the devs to be able to work on um out of these okay before i ask you any other questions let's talk about what proto dank sharding is and what it means now there's six key elements right but i'm only going to highlight three of them the first one is roll up future this uh Proposal EIP 4844, the dank sharding, will help facilitate an ecosystem wide move to roll ups. Now we hear Vitalik talk about this all the time. ZK roll ups, zero knowledge. This is where the future is for transactions on Ethereum. Also, low fees now. The full data sharding will take a considerable amount of time to finish implementing. So, in the meantime, EIP 4844 can bring roll-up fees down by orders of magnitude and also enable Ethereum to remain competitive without sacrificing sacrificing decentralization. And also, it's forwards compatible. Now, Robin, out of these three EIPs, uh, which one uh, do you think will have the most effect, whether that be negative or positive, you know, in, in the Ethereum ecosystem? It is the roll-ups that is going to make Ethereum what we were hoping it was going to be in the merge. This is huge. I mean, just think about it. Uh, no longer do you have to go competitive uh, when it comes to your transaction price because we know that users were leaving Ethereum and transacting on layer twos. But if the rollups come out as we expect them to, where transaction fees come down significantly in, say, the sub $1 range, uh, you know, what is the need to transact on a layer two when you can do it on layer one? Is that a bullish, is that more bullish for Ethereum and negative for Polygon? Now you can make an argument there because Vitalik has been very adamant on the need, uh, and the ecosystem thriving with layer twos building in conjunction with the layer ones on, uh, Ethereum. This does nothing besides help the entire ecosystem. However, who it helps the most, who it benefits the most, is that Ethereum will become cheaper. That's the biggest setback when it comes to Ethereum. That's the biggest gripe that people have was these exorbitant gas fees during the run-up. When you had uh, a big project minting uh, NFT, you could see uh, the gas fees are going up into the thousands of dollars. I mean, I paid, uh, not saying this is something you should do or it was a good, uh, it was a good move, but... There was a project that was minting, and I spent $1,800 in gas fees to mint a $400 NFT. And so this is something that has happened. And obviously with the merge, the idea was to make everything more streamlined, cheaper, faster, more secure, so they say. So for me, um, what's interesting is the unlocking of the ETH and the unlocking of the staking rewards. 
What kind of impact do you think that's going to have on price? A lot like, of people are saying, hey, once it's unlocked, everyone's just going to dump their ETH. Here, I disagree. The, like I, that, that I agree with. However, you you'll agree be, with what? You, that people are no, going to no, dump? That, that I agree that it's not going to be this massive sell and all of a yeah, sudden, okay. you know, you're going to see the price of Ethereum crashing. However, do not kid yourself. There will be some selling pressure. There's going to be uh, people that locked up their Ethereum that are in need of cash because we're in the middle of a bear market. They've generated a lot of staking rewards so they can take some profits and they're going to sell. So if you think that the price will not move at all, you're sadly mistaken. There will be some sell pressure. Now, is it going to be some some tidal wave of order book clearing? No, because these people are investing in Ethereum in the long term. They have the grander vision in place. That's why they started staking well before the merge, and they know they're not going to be able to unlock the Ethereum that they earned uh, and the ones that they staked not till well after six months after the merge. They, they knew that. So these people are Ethereum maximalist or at least people that believe in the project long term because otherwise they wouldn't have put their they wouldn't have put their money there in the first place or their, their tokens there in the first place. So you yeah, got people that are bullish in, in, in the long term vision. So they're not going to exit their position in its entirety. They're not going to sell off everything they have. But you'd be sadly mistaken to think they're not going to be some kind of sell pressure and that people aren't going to take profits. And if you've been uh, staking Ethereum and you've been earning staking rewards, uh, at some point you're going to take some money off the table. And so I'm curious to see how big of a sell it'll be when that happens. But I don't think it's going to be anything catastrophic or any giant candles that are coming. Uh, maybe the first day people will overreact with the news and people will sell in anticipation. Uh, but Anything after a uh, 48-hour volatility, I think, will balance itself out pretty quickly. It'll be interesting to see the timing because uh, we're, we're looking at about anywhere between four to eight months until this Ether will be unlocked from the beacon chain. And if we project forward, let's take the uh, middle there. Let's just take uh, six months. Six months from now, you're looking at, what, April, right? Yeah. April. A lot of people are saying the markets are going to bottom the end of this year, right? We're a one year removed from the Bitcoin having. DeFi might come back. We might see some regulation. The economy might start bouncing back. The Fed will start stop tightening interest or hiking interest rates and tightening the economy. So if ETH is on a trajectory up and it's sitting at twenty five hundred, twenty six hundred dollars, will that change people's perspective? Dude, I, will that change people's habits? I just want to go back one more time to stress the importance of the EIP 4844. It will introduce roll-ups and will bring down fees by orders of magnitude. Let that sink in. The biggest gripe with Ethereum is the transaction fees. And just imagine how much more utility they will get, how many more NFT projects will launch when transactions if it goes down by orders of magnitude, because right now your standard transaction is around uh, four dollars, I think it is, uh, and that's where your standard transaction, your your Uniswap is a little bit more. But just imagine orders of magnitude. Could we see a twenty-five cent Ethereum transaction become the norm in a bull run? If that is something we see, who stands a chance? What other layer one stands a dude, chance? Dude, no, I mean, who can compete against Ethereum? I mean, they have the staying power, you know, obviously this, this they got some of the best of, developers in the, in the uh... thing so far has been a success. What will it look like six months from now with the roll-ups? Man, I'm telling you, this could be so bullish for Ethereum. Uh, this is everything people wanted out of Ethereum with the merge, and it's it's here in a realistic timeline Push the timeline back? That's my question. Probably. Will this, will this, will will. this Shanghai uh, upgrade come out in 2025? I'm not even trying to be funny. Is that, that that could realistically happen. It can. And so, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, either way, that'll do it for the video today. Uh, make sure to come join us Monday through Friday at 10.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time for our daily live show. Also, on your way out, do us a favor. Like the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And on behalf of myself and Big Rob, we thank you so much. And we look forward to seeing you again. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.